cyclic quadrilateral property sum of the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral is 180 degree a quadrilateral is said to be cyclic if there is a circle passing through all of its four points here we have a circle in which we have a cyclic quadrilateral because all of its four points are on circle let's name these points as a B, C, and D. Now, according to this property, angle A plus angle C, because both of these angles are opposite angles, their sum must be 180 degree. So, their sum is 180 degree, and similarly, angle B plus angle D, angle B plus angle D is also 180 degree let's prove this statement so in order to prove this statement we are going to draw a line from A to C draw the line from A to C A to C and also draw the line from B to D also draw the line the line from B to D so here from B to D let's draw this line and let's draw a line extending from A to C now in order to prove this our strategy will be we will include this angle and this angle here let's consider the segment B to C this is the minor arc and it's making two different angles one at A and one at the point D according to the properties of circle both of these angles must be equal so angle BAC angle BAC is same as angle BDC angle BDC you can see that this BC is the arc which is making two different angles one over here one at point D because the same arc is making two different angles so they are equal and now we want to include this angle therefore we are going to consider the arc AB and use the same thing that the angle made by the arc AB at point D and C are same now let's consider angle ACB angle a c b is equal to a d b is equal to angle a d b let's call this as one and call this as number two and let's add them together adding one and two so here we have BAC plus ACB. So angle BAC plus angle ACB that is on the left side and on the right side is BDC angle BDC plus angle ADB angle ADB. If you look at angle BDC, BDC is this angle here and ADB is this angle. So obviously on the right hand side their sum is equal to angle ADC. So let's call this angle angle ADC and similarly here whatever we have is angle BA 
C plus angle A C B. Let's call this as number 3. And now we are going to add this because we have this angle here BAC and we have this angle. We have both of these angles already. Let's add third angle which is this one on both sides of equation 3 so that left hand side contains all the internal angles of one triangle ABC. So adding angle ABC on both sides. Adding angle ABC on both sides of equation 3. What we have here angle ABC plus angle BAC plus angle ACB plus we are adding this angle A uh, equal to this would be equal to sign equal to angle ABC plus angle a D C. Now angle A B C if you take a look on the angle A B C angle A B C is this angle and angle A D C is this angle. So both of these are the opposite angles of cyclic quadrilateral on the right hand side here on the right hand side. But on the left hand side what we have is sum of all the internal angles of a triangle. Left hand side, left hand side is sum of internal angles of a triangle. So this is 180 degree equal to angle ABC plus angle ADC which means angle so in short this is angle B plus angle D so this is in short angle B plus angle D that is equal to 180 degree and similarly we can say that uh, about the other angles angle A is equal to angle A plus angle C similarly angle A plus angle C is equal to 180 degree so that's proved and here we have now another question and in this question we have that prove that a cyclic parallelogram is a rectangle it means that this is given that it's a cyclic and given that it's a parallelogram and we would like to prove that it's a rectangle. So now we will take advantage of this quadrilateral being cyclic and then we will take advantage of this quadrilateral being a parallelogram. Since so given is what? Let's name this A, B, C and D. So because it's cyclic, therefore sum of opposite angles is equal to 180 degree. It means angle given that A, B, C, D is cyclic. So what it means that angle A plus angle D is equal to 180 degree and angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degree. Now this is because it's cyclic. But because it's given parallelogram, so what parallelogram tells us about the opposite angles that they are equal. 
Now since A, B, C, D is parallelogram, so angle A is equal to angle D. Therefore, from 1, so from equation 1, we can substitute angle A plus instead of angle D, I can again write it angle A is equal to 180 degree. This means twice of angle A is equal to 180 degree. This means angle A is in fact equal to 90 degree, which is sufficient to prove that ABCD is a rectangle because rectangle is a quadrilateral whose all four vertices have an angle of 90 degree. So, A, B, C, D is a rectangle.